Simple Cafe Sound, illustrated tutorials, short and sweet. Hey, I don't know about you, but I figured that by now, it'd be super easy to have our phones play out of two Bluetooth speakers at the same time. But as of now, it's pretty complicated to do. Hopefully, tomorrow there will be an update and problem solved. But in the meantime, let me show you what I do to have two Bluetooth speakers playing out of my phone at the same time. Now what I'm going to show you is the simplest way I know, and it is going to cost you a few bucks. See, you'll need to get an adapter for your phone, but I think it's really worth it because not only will it connect you to two speakers, it'll also help you make your other non-Bluetooth devices play out of your Bluetooth speakers like a record player even. What this cool little adapter is, is a Bluetooth transmitter. Now I know you probably don't have one of these yet, but before you make your purchase, make sure that you check out the description and that it says that it can actually play out of two speakers at the same time. You can find this specific transmitter in the description. Now, let me tell you just how this is going to work. Luckily there are only two steps and step one is super easy. Just connect your phone to the transmitter with an aux cable. This is how your phone's music will be fed into the transmitter so it can do its thing and transmit to those two speakers. Let me pause here to say that yes, you may have noticed that your phone is going to need to have an aux port, which I know is disappearing from a lot of smartphones. So like me, you may need to get an adapter to convert that charging port in there to an aux port. Here's some of the links in case you need to order anything. Hopefully the one that you buy comes with the necessary cables or adapters, like this one mine came with an aux cable, an aux to RCA adapter, and a USB-C cable. So step one done, aux cable connects phone to transmitter. Now we'll pair our two speakers to the transmitter. First thing you'll want to do is make sure that both of your speakers are turned off. Now go over to your transmitter and turn it on. Then put it into pairing mode. Now with the transmitter looking to pair to a device, I'll turn one of the speakers on and put it into pairing mode as well. And hopefully just after a few seconds, your speaker will be connected. And if you're playing something through your phone, you'll already hear it coming out of that speaker. All right, great, but no big deal, right? We do this all the time. But here comes the cool part, connecting and playing out of a second speaker. You can leave the first speaker alone, no need to disconnect or anything. What you need to do next is simply put your transmitter back in to pairing mode. So now it's looking for a new speaker to connect to, so let's go to our second speaker and turn it on. And, of course, put it into pairing mode. And bada beam bada boom, in no time it's connected. And you'll hear that both speakers are playing at the same time, great. Here are some other videos you may also find useful. Like to help me, share to help out others, and sub to stay in the loop. You can even support directly with the YouTube thanks button. Hope you get connected and I'll see you on the next one.